Outer Banks High School, home of the state champions. It's just an amazing feeling that you get, um, that you probably only get once in your lifetime. Right in there. I'm supposed to have a penny of state champs. Yep. State champs? Forever, eh? Yeah, forever state champs. Hollywood couldn't have written a better script. Kevin Roffer, Action 2 News, De Beer. Plenty of people around willing to talk about the thrilling one-point victory over Marquette. Julie Howard reports. Santa Fe's High School, home of the state champions. Secretary Kay Van Grunsman has been answering the phone like that all day, and she says it feels great. The Abbott Pennings boys basketball team won the state with a championship Saturday night. And today, the thrill of victory was still sinking in for students, parents, and alumni. It was such an emotional moment. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like it. It's nice for um, Father Meehan, I think. Too bad he couldn't see the game, but I'm really glad for his sake that we won the game. It's really great uh, to see these guys go through everything they have to and to go out in the style that they went in. It's fantastic. Oh, it's all the best to them. There were signs plastered all over town today to congratulate the Squires. What makes this victory especially sweet is that everyone knows it'll never happen again. Pennings is closing at the end of the school year. It will merge with two other schools to form Notre Dame Catholic High School. It was meant from the start for us to win it because, uh, I don't know, it's, it's the last year we really wanted it badly, and we took it. Well, I just think it's the greatest thing. It's my first year here, and uh, I don't know, I just I couldn't ask for more. You know, the school shutting down is just the best way to go out. Julie Howard, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, De Pier. That mm. is just... Great job. It is. It's great. And congratulations to everyone there. I tell you, putting together a script, you couldn't have, oh, wouldn't have put together any it differently. It was too exciting. Wow. <laughs> but I thought it was a group that, before the year really started, you know, it was a group with younger kids mixed with older kids. You know, a lot of, time, a lot of times there's a problem with, you know, older kids accepting the young guys. But, uh, you know, it was just a great mixture of kids. They supported each other. They supported the coaching staff and what we had to say. And even though we got on their butts a lot, I think, you know, it was for a purpose. And I think they realized that, that you know, we had to work them until the end. And, uh, you know, I, that's really what happened. I think you saw down at State how determined they were. Okay, let me uh, mention the team here. We'll go right down the line. Uh, Joe Sullivan, senior guard. And, you know, from 1 to 13, you know, everybody was important. And one thing about a good team is that they have to have a great bench. And I really believe that we probably had the best bench in the state. And some teams don't, didn't have that luxury. You know, some, after the first five, their six through 12 or 13 does not challenge the other kids in practice. And our kids were going after each other the whole time. And I think our second and third group made our first group even better. So everybody deserves the credit all the way down the line. Uh, Ray Schneider. Uh, Sam Brooker. <laughs> Sam was one of those guys that uh, just kept everything going in practice, kind of just all over the place. Just an excellent kid. Uh, Greg Cornett. Unfortunately, you know, Greg got hurt uh, halfway through the year, and, uh, you know, that was, you know, a bad situation for him, but I think, uh, you know, as was shown in the tournament, he really came around and uh, really added a lot, you know, to our championship. Uh, Kurt Eisen. Six <laughs> uh, Gary Denny.
coaching staff personally worked very hard with him on his free throws during the game. <laughs> uh, Jeff Baum, senior guy. Did an excellent job off the bench. Tom Benkowski, senior guy. Tommy doesn't get a lot of credit and, uh, you know, a lot of times, and, you know, I think you saw him down at State, uh, you know, he handled that ball, you know, the whole game against Marquette, you know, bringing it up, and, uh, you know, even though Tom didn't score a lot of points, uh, you know, we would have had a very difficult time without him. He did a super job, like a tick. <laughs> Kevin Rankin, uh, I think Kevin made Northwestern very happy. Uh, their coaches called me and uh, were just uh, jumping up and down uh, about the whole thing. But Kevin uh, really had an excellent tournament. I mean, I thought that he obviously was the most valuable player of the tournament and uh, really outplayed McIlvain and Key, just uh, with his leadership this year, keeping the team together, uh, couldn't have asked for more. You know, just a super kid and uh, just had a great year. <laughs> Joe Herzog. Joe's quite a guy. He, uh, <laughs> we gave each other a lot of different types of looks all year in practice and on the court. But uh, you know, one thing about Joe is that you know I've said it before. You know, Joe was never afraid. You know, to take that shot. And uh, you know, I, I knew when that ball was in his hands that it was probably going up. But. Uh, <laughs> Now, I have to say, Joe, that was probably the, the only one you squared up on that, that <laughs> afternoon, but you know, it was a great one. And uh, I think Joe, uh, especially toward the end of the year, you know, really you know, carried us in certain games. Uh, you know, when we were behind, especially in the Dominican game, his three-pointer really came around. And uh, he especially had a super last uh, half of the year, you know, which carried into the tournament, too, and just had an excellent tournament. Darren really came around more than people maybe thought, you know, this year, especially in the beginning. But uh, you know, I, I think he showed his maturity uh, even at you know at the end in the uh, in the tournament. You know, he really improved and he went uh, nose to nose with uh, the big people out there. Just had a super year. And Mike Rader. Mike, uh, Mike's a big boy. He, uh, <laughs> you know, we put him in there, and he, he did an excellent job at you know spelling Kevin and Darren, and uh, he takes up a lot of space in there, and he banged on people. Did an excellent job in the tournament too, and uh, you know just just smiles about it. Also, <laughs> did a great job. Um, just a you know a super group of kids and worked very hard. You know they they deserved what they got, and uh, I would like to give have you give them a round of applause. Again.
Uh, I'd just like to tell you a sequence of events that happened was kind of strange. The first night we were in Paris, one of the boys received a phone call from his folks and they had won the um, Lutheran, Lutheran game, Milwaukee Lutheran. So that was really exciting. The next night, someone else called up and we had won against St. Catherine Racine. And so that was really, really thrilling. Well, the, final, the following night, it got to be, it was five in the morning and all of a sudden my phone rang and I picked it up and I was half asleep and Jim Ottinger was on the phone and Jim said, we did it. I know when you're a principal, I thought, what did we do? <laughs> Get caught violating the drinking code. I said, we did what? And he said, well, we won the state championship. And it had just, he had just gotten back into town. So I tell you, we were really, really thrilled. So it really added to the whole trip. I personally think the reason why they won, uh, apart from skill and talent and courage and all those other traits, I think they won because they played for each other, not for themselves. And I think that that's what I'd like you to learn, uh, all of you students, uh, that's what I would like to learn, that life is really not an ego trip. It's when we do things for others and with others that all of us uh, turn out to be victorious.
travel. 